If you have had to have surgery, wouldn't it be nice if you have a less invasive procedure, at least as less invasive as possible? We want you to meet a neurosurgeon, Dr. Luis Toomey Allen. He is from Barrel Brain and Spine, and he's here to discuss the many benefits of minimally invasive spine surgery. And I said to you uh, before the show, when you think spine surgery, minimally invasive is not a word that a lot of patients would think, but you and they think immediately of what their father or grandfather went through. And I say, look, this is not your grandfather's laminectomy. In 2016, we're doing these operations through very small access ports that allow us to accomplish the same goals of the operation that otherwise needs a longer midline incision with muscle stripping off of the bone and some potential for blood loss and increased risk of infection, accomplishing the same goals through a minimal access port. Right, and um, when we talk about the obstacles that a lot of patients face, and you actually brought a model, which is very helpful. Years ago, you were, you were cutting into the whole spine, correct? The, and now you can do it so precise. Show us the tool and, and how big it is. So, for example, in this instance, you can see in the model here that there is a uh, area of protrusion, which is irritating a nerve. That could result in an individual who has a significant amount of leg pain. And instead, in the years past, we would be approaching the spine from the midline and stripping the muscle off of the bones just to get to that one area. It never made a lot of sense to me even when I was a resident. Instead, it's made all the sense in the world to me to use a minimal access port such as this and place that right over the area where the compression Remi uh, the That's compression the line. the size of a dime. This is about the size of a dime. Wow. And that allows for, understandably, a more uh, speedier recovery mm -hmm. for an individual. Uh, and most individuals are quite quite happy in the fact that they're going home the same day of the Abs operation. And that's what's so mind-blowing. How many patients did you release just this morning? All patients who had surgery yesterday went home this morning. That is mind-blowing. Okay, we're going to show you a, a video of an animation because it's important that people understand uh, what we're looking at here. This is an innovative tool that allows you to kind of preserve that tissue, right? Yeah, this is a, uh, a template that now is going to allow speeding up the operation that would otherwise require perhaps some additional uh, fluoroscopic images, which is increased radiation, and instead allows us to exactly template what the, uh, what the patient needs precisely and then get some mm -hmm. of the carpentry done at, at depth, speeding up the operation, decreasing the amount of retraction that needs to happen. That device there I named after my daughter, it's, it's named the Soledad, and just allows us to template a cervical plate and again, decrease the incidence of swallowing difficulties and uh, speed up the op entire operation. Wow. Less time under anesthesia is less time for recovery. Absolutely, because I mean, you said one guy was at lunch by that afternoon, and, and the years ago, how long were people off their feet? The mean hospitalization uh, for patients who had lumbar laminectomies was two to three days at wow. one point. Now it is routine for an individual to be able to go home the day of the surgery, typically 45 minutes to an hour after the procedure. All right, so we're going to look at some more uh, photos. Now, what this is, this is um, an actual procedure that was done, but it's less risk, you were saying, for the patient if you do it this way. This image represents an individual who actually had a lumbar fusion. Those are incisions that are about one uh, inch in length on each side. That's an operation that now is done under two hours in an outpatient setting. And this uh, is a young lady who actually went back to work a month after the operation, working mm -hmm. as a nurse. Uh, this is uh, another operation that was done, and that how is, tiny that is. That's a microdiscectomy, very similar to what I demonstrated earlier, where there's compression of a disc on a nerve root. That's done through a 16 millimeter axis port in about 45 minutes to an hour. Again, the benefit here is a decreased incidence of infection, the decre uh, decreased operative time, and a much faster recovery. Wow! And this last one. This is uh, yet another microdiscectomy. In, in my time in the military, where I was a neurosurgeon in the Navy, this is what allowed us to get patients back to unrestricted full duty in a more timely fashion than using the traditional midline tradi open approaches. Right, so one day recovery versus two to three days in the hospital and already going home, minimally invasive. But like I said, it's a word I never would have thought you could use with spine surgery. Fantastic information. Thank you so much. For more information, please call Barrel Brain and Spine at 480-425. 8004 or you can visit them online at barrelbrainandspine.com. They are located at 7301 East 2nd Street, Suite 106 in Scottsdale. Thank you so much, Dr. Tumiel. Thank you so much for having me.